is another stunning day in Wellington, New Zealand. And so I am going to sit outside and share with you my thoughts today because it's been a bit of a reflection this week, thinking about how I've changed since I've moved to New Zealand. It's been a total of seven years that I've lived here and I have some thoughts to share with you. It's gonna be good. You're not gonna wanna miss this video. Here we go. Thank you to My Heritage for sponsoring this video. So I know I've made videos in the past on how my values have changed, how what I buy has changed, but I've been noticing some more changes lately. So I thought I'd make a video because you guys always think that's interesting. And really the reason why I'm noticing this is because, as you know, I help like Americans move here. So a lot of them have been traveling to New Zealand. I've had coffee with them, which has been great. And I've, you know, met with them, you know, via Zoom. And I'm really noticing, I think, from like an, an outside point of view, how different I really am. <laughs> You know, like I can definitely answer questions like I know what it's like to be American, but like just seeing being with people that are just like totally new to New Zealand and coming from American culture and just noticing like some nuances that are very different that I just didn't realize. I think that there's a lot of changes that are happening that I didn't really realize. So obviously like, I like all new foods. Like I love the meat pies and the eggs Benny and I love, you know, the long vacations and I've changed a lot and adapted to this culture in a lot of ways, but I didn't realize how much I've really started to assimilate in the culture. So I'm gonna highlight a couple of those changes today. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is that Americans seem to be the odd ones out. And this isn't so much a reflection of how I've changed, but how what I've kind of learned. And mostly from talking to you guys on my social channels, doing these videos where I'm comparing the differences across TikTok and YouTube and whatever, and people saying, oh, like this is the same in Ireland, or this is the same in Finland, or this is the same in South Africa. And it's like, you're really starting to realize that America is like the odd ones out. <laughs> They're the ones that are doing everything differently. And you don't really realize that as a U.S. citizen. Um, and so I'm just like, as I'm getting to know more people and talking to people from around the world and understanding and reading about different laws and processes and realizing that actually a lot of people do things a lot of the same way. And then there's the U.S. Even foods that they eat, um, the way that they process things, the way that, you know, healthcare and, you know, big things. They're all doing it totally differently <laughs> than they do in the U.S. and a lot of times better. And so uh, it's very interesting to think about. And so that I, I've definitely been like, oh, you don't really realize you're like the odd one out. I don't know if I've ever shared this with you before, but a couple years ago, my cousin did some DNA testing and we found family members that we didn't know about, like a, a cousin that I didn't know about in their whole family. And so now they're part of our family and we can't even imagine them not being part of our family. So this is so cool. So recently I've kind of dug into myheritage.com, which is the leading global service for finding, you know, records and pictures of your family. They have 90 million users and 18 billion searchable historical records. And it's just this amazing platform that I have found so many interesting things on. For example, like it's really easy to build your family tree. And when you build your family tree, they have like this AI software in there that can then find, um, you know, dig deep into that and give you more records of your family and it's just like i i'm like oh my gosh and so and what's also cool is they have like this feature where you can fix a picture you know like make it look a little bit better repair it you can even make it in color you know because a lot of them are in black and white and you can animate them and it's really fun it's really easy that's like with a click of a button and it's amazing you guys you guys need to check out the myheritage.com if you're ever thinking about um, doing some DNA testing or checking out some historical records. It's pretty cool. Like I actually found a record of my great grandmother in the newspaper when she was a teenager. And like, that just was so much fun. And to actually like see my great grandparents handwriting on things was just, it was just really cool. So I highly recommend that you check it out. And if you want to click the link in my description, myheritage.com is offering a 14 day free trial for their complete plan. And if you decide to continue after that they'll give you another 50 percent off so there's just really no reason to not check it out it's just amazing just to check the database and to create your family tree so check it out today i highly recommend it and you never know what you're going to discover 
The second reflection that I want to talk about is, ooh, the sun is changing, so here we go. <laughs> uh, it's just gorgeous out, so I'm staying out here. But the second reflection is that I'm seeing like Americanisms, the way people do things, like I'm sitting on the outside and I'm noticing uh, habits and the way people talk and the words that they use being so different than mine and not realizing that it is different. And so like, obviously when I go back to the States, it really feels like home and I feel very comfortable and it feels very, very normal to me. But it's just that when I'm sitting in New Zealand and I'm meeting with Americans or I'm talking with Americans, I'm really noticing, oh, <laughs> I do things different. So I don't know if it's just that I adapt when I'm here and like, this is how I talk and how I act and you know, it's different. It's different than how the Americans are when they're coming here. And, you know, and it's not always all the stereotypes or anything that you typically think of, but it's just, you know, what they think about, the way they look at the world, you know, the, the, the lens is different. And I guess what I'm saying is, I guess I didn't realize that my lens had shifted and that uh, I'm seeing things completely differently. And the way that I'm able to look at the US and America is completely different. And yeah, and so it gives you like a whole nother insight. So like, yeah, maybe that's another video where we talk about, you know, the different insights that I have on the US, but like, man, it's just like, it isn't until, like I said earlier, that I'm put up against, you know, another American <laughs> that I'm realizing, oh, hmm. I am thinking, I'm actually thinking differently and it's just, it's at the conscious level and it's just the way that you do things. Number three, the third reflection that I have is that there is a lot less can'ts. I can't do things. So in the US, there's just a lot of red tape. And while it's, you know, the American dream is to just kind of do what you, you know, what you dream of doing and make it happen and, and you know, pull yourself up from your bootstraps. And that's, you know, the American <laughs> way of doing things. And that's, and that's great. But I just remember as a business owner coming into it, just like, you can't do this, you can't do that. And you gotta pay this tax and this tax and this regulation and this insurance. And I just kept, hitting all these walls it just made the whole thing like oh my goodness like i don't know how anybody makes any money like ethically let's just say that and i you know it was just like i just felt like i always hit a lot of cans and like i'm a you know i'm i have a lot of grit i'm very motivated i'm you know have all of that but i'm just i couldn't believe that i was like now i just as i'm reflecting how much how easy it is to just go and to do, and how normal it is for people to talk about, yeah, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, no problem. Um, you know, there are a little bit, I, you know, that probably what I hear from New Zealanders is like, oh, it's expensive here, like they're scared to like leave their job and to try something new, and that's all real. But like, you know, you don't have other things preventing you. Like you don't really realize, like, like Americans are in a job because they get healthcare with that. And that's a huge reason why they're doing the job that they're doing, not because they like it or not because it's their dream or, you know, because it gives them life. <laughs> they're doing it because they need the healthcare. And so like, that's, it's just a totally different mindset to come into and just to like live in a country for seven years and just really feel like you have really no limits, that you have that support system. Like, you know, like I've talked all about the different things, you know, like the ACC, if I get injured, like things are covered and, you know, like you just like, you don't feel like if you just take that step or those leaps into doing something different that you're going to be unsupported and be, that rules are going to be unreasonable and you're going to be taxed this and that and everybody's going to try to take their bit you know and it's just like you don't feel that way so um obviously this is a small place there's not a lot of people you know compared to like you know all of the people in the u.s uh when you're running a business you know that can be a huge advantage right um so i'm not saying that there isn't disadvantages in new zealand i'm just saying that man I just don't, I don't feel any barriers. It's, it's just go time. It's go time in New Zealand. Number four, number four, I'm going to say that me as a person, and I'm a firstborn, I'm a type A, I'm a, I'm a go-getter, right? I feel so much more relaxed in New Zealand that I just have really changed. I have really 
really changed. It's been really good because I tend to be an anxious person and so I don't struggle with any anxiety whatsoever really. Um, it's really noticeable because when I go back to the States I have a lot of anxiety and so I can just notice the difference in the countries and how that they affect me. But like um, I'm just really relaxed about mom stuff, about life stuff, about little things don't matter and that you just learn to be instead of doing. I'm such a doer. That's who I am. And that's a great thing. But like, I've learned how to just be. And I think that that's really kind of come into um, revelation to me since I've left my job and have gone out on my own. And you're like in this panic mode, you know, like every small business owner, and you're just like, ah, you know, I, you gotta, you gotta work hard to make, you know, money every day. And like, you're just trying to work it out. And like, I, just trying to find your footing and to make it work and, and then I just found that I just learned like okay what are my values what are my priorities let's put everything in priority and just being okay with not I'm a big like I just want to get there I want to know that I can do it I want to take the challenge and accomplish it but in New Zealand I've learned to just to just be happy with being be just being here just living life just having a good day spending time with family and kids and friends and investing in community and and making those priorities and be, and when i'm not like i have to work this job like for health care for all these other reasons because i need two cars and a nice house and that you don't feel any of that here i don't feel any of that here i just feel like relaxed and that it's accepted in the culture here to just be and to not overdo and to not you know, strive and work and grow more and like you're successful here. So let's expand and let's scale and let's do that. They don't value that here. They value, you know, I mean, everybody kind of has their own value and you'll see that, you know, like what, how people are in Auckland can be quite different than, you know, people in like, you know, more of the rural areas, but like, it's just set up to support you and that you can just be who you want to be and, it's great and I just really noticed that that has really changed me because I'm not fighting for everything all the time and that I can just be and do and actually think about what it is that I value and it's important to me and make those a priority. And number five, I've debated whether to put this in here because I know I've talked about this in the past but I've decided to put it in because it's such a huge change. So if maybe you haven't seen my other videos, um, consumerism. This is not a consumerist society in New Zealand. And man, do you realize how big it is in the US? <laughs> and, you know, I mean, and that's why businesses do well. And that's why you have all these billionaires and whatever, but like it's a consumerism society and you don't realize how much that affects you and how now that I've been here, like literally don't want anything like and I'm seeing that effects on my children like when we're talking about what do you guys want for Christmas and da, 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 you know and kids aren't advertised to here and they just are like I don't really know I don't really know what I need and if you see what's on their list it's like basic and simple and they're not over asking and it's it's just a different like you just don't it's like non-existent you're just satisfied you're content like even me I'm trying to think about what you know there's some things that you like but like you know you don't really need anything and you're just like oh that's you know I mean obviously I'd really like a new phone because this was getting old and I record videos or laugh you know like all those kinds of things and then it's quite expensive here for those things so I think that it almost makes it easier like you don't have so many things so cheap that it just makes the decision easier like I'm not gonna spend that much money I'm okay with what I have and and it's just it's just ingrained in the culture to value um, and reuse and to recycle and to and you just and so you just get used to that and there's not all this pressure to be in the latest fashion and you know there's just it's just not there like I just the consumerism it's just not there it's not the same and the last reflection that I'm gonna say <laughs> and I just have to say this because of a recent event I can't I don't think I'll ever going back to drip coffee like. So I was in a cafe and I was working there all afternoon and they had like drip coffee, like unlimited amounts. And I'm like, oh, that's perfect because it's not as strong as espresso. And I'm like, this is perfect. I'll just have this as I'm, um, you know, working for the rest of the afternoon. Couldn't even drink it. Couldn't. It was horrible. I don't know. It wasn't bad when I went to the U.S., but I think the creamers help. <laughs> but like, oh, I just, I'm done with that, you know, so. <laughs> 
So I really assimilated. So that's kind of like the conclusion. Like I've really assimilated into the culture and I'm not really realizing so much, um, you know, how I've really changed until I'm, I'm come up against, you know, other Americans and talking through things. I'm like, oh yeah. And just even like hearing my kids use jargon doesn't bother me anymore. Things that they say that used to drive me crazy. Like I'm never going to use that word. Oh, I'm using it and it's normal. Yeah. So things have changed. So there's that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you to My Heritage for sponsoring this video. And if you guys have any reflections on how you've changed when you've moved overseas, become an expat from the US, I would love to hear it because I'm just fascinated. I've been really thinking about it. Hopefully I was able to articulate that. It's a little bit hard sometimes, but you guys have a great week. I'll see you next week.